Some would argue this is the deepest division in the UFC right now. 145 pounds, a lot of killers at the top. This man has emerged out of the pack and gets his much-deserved title shot in time. From the moment he got to the UFC, he told us we were viewing someone that could make an impact, a future champion that will remind us of the great featherweight champ Max Holloway, Jose Aldo Jr. He said, I am special. I will be a champion one day tonight. He gets the opportunity. Let's see if he can cash in. Now it appeared as though the weight cut was a little bit difficult. He did not want to hear that noise, but that is behind him. And we'll see how it goes for him here on Saturday night. Sports, the magnitude of the UFC title fight, and tonight all eyes are on the undisputed UFC featherweight champion looking to add another major scout to a resume that is full of big names already. Yeah, he's got a lot of big names on his resume already, but this guy doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. He seems so motivated to continue to build on his legacy. He's a, he's a great champion. He's a guy that lives for that championship belt and has all the skills to hold on to that title for a really long time. When you look at this top 15 on paper, it is just a wealth of talent. And yet this is the guy they are all chasing. And he has no intention of relinquishing the throne tonight. Referee Herb right, Dean right. will handle the action right. in the octagon. Good. All right, here's the Ultimate Fighter veteran, Alex Caceres, as this round gets underway. He's not all that far removed from a five-fight winning streak that vaulted him firmly into UFC featherweight title contention, but he's not resting on the body of work. He believes this matchup gives him a lot of opportunities to showcase his clinch game, his grappling, and even some of his long-range striking weapons as well. So, Alex Caceres, safe to say, in a statement-making mood here tonight. Nicely done by Caceres. Checks that leg kick. Single collar tie locked in. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Yeah, yeah. Just over three minutes to go. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big left hook there. Work, guys, come on. Lands a nasty body kick. The overhand left is true. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Just over two minutes, round one. Well, 
Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. Just oh! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Big power shot there. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Another one landed flush by Caceres. Under a minute to go. Let's go. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. There's his jab. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Ten seconds now to go in the round. reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Caceres is bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. He certainly got a lot done on the feet, and as such, he has opened up a pretty significant gash above his opponent's eye. Yeah, it was a buildup. He just kept popping him. He kept hitting him until something opened him up. And now he can see the damage that he's inflicting. Nothing feels better to a fighter than to see the person wearing your Ready. work. That is exactly Ready. what's going on right now. And the cut man is not the only one that is going to keep an eye on that wound as this next round gets underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Looked like Caceres might have just missed with that right hand. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range though with it. Oh, big head kick there. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Caceres. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Leg kick lands. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Under three minutes to go in round two. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautiful.
beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Straight right is there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Effective use of the jab there by Caceres, man. Caceres moves out of the way. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Caceres. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. Under two minutes to go in round two. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit, but he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. Uh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Just missed with the leg kick. Twenty seconds to go. Need some work, guys. Fifteen seconds. His misses are entertaining. Good huh. round. So what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Caceres. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. Slips the punch. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, 
that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Beautiful block there. Just over three minutes to go. And that one certainly found the target. Head kick, that's a miss. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice kick. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. There's a lot of kicks. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Making all these shots count. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Caceres. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Lance the low kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Just misses with the left hook. Seconds winding down in round three. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five, five minutes. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the option. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Slips to avoid the right. The fifth of Savant, he blocked that punch.
They're so evenly matched. They're going to the tap. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Makes the bad man stop. Big punch lands through the middle. Block that punch. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Very active in the clinch here and lands a beautiful shot to the head. Strong straight left there. Great commitment to the kicking game. is really starting to leak blood in and around that eye. Not looking good. You can see the referee keeping a close eye on it. All right, ref has called a break to the action here, likely to call in the doctor to look at that cut and a lot of blood donation going on right now. And for as fun as this fight has been, I can only hope that the physician still lets this guy fight. He wants to fight. He wants to continue. Let him go. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take Great some fight. chances. He's got to go Ready. out of the shield if he's going to go out. Because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Caceres' eye is closing up. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Caceres. Fast jab lands it. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Try to establish that jab. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Oh, good block there. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike. And that one was I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. And now the jab gets through. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Caceres' forehead is just dumping blood all over the octagon. Like, can somebody get a beaker, please? I mean, maybe we need to... Oh, oh. I, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.